Hello my dear students I Pooja madam from JB Mall Public School Sita Songi welcome you all in the online session of standard 8 computers our today's topic is let us explore computers network can you see the line of a line of ends yes this ends are following each other and this is a good example of network have you ever thought how they are communicating with each other and how they are making a network yes they are sending some signals and they are sending some senses of smell now see this this is the swarm of bees these bees are communicating with each other and getting together in a particular place they are also communicating with some mode of communication so how is that possible is it same happen in the real world this is nothing but a a network my dear students we actually don't have to born as a human being to communicate all the living organisms be and bees apes dolphins communicate with each other thus forming a network communication here means to be able to convey thoughts and ideas and everything else that need to be expressed or conveyed communication here does not means face to face but it also involve sharing of lots of information devices that we use to talk or to send the message from one person to another are the different modes of communication that we use in our day to day life Have you ever seen this type of mode of communication in our day to day life? Yes. These all are our mode of communication. A with the help of letter, telephone, radios, television, mobiles and newspaper, all of us we connected to each other and share data and information. As we all know that in the previous days the history of communication started with carrier pigeon horseman and then letter and telegram been used for sending the message gradually with the changing time telephone came into existence and very fast the technologies are changing and most of the network communication medium are changing so my dear students connecting to each other is called network and a computer network is a collection of two or more computers connected together in order to communicate and share data and information here I hope you can see so many peripheral devices are also connected to each other and forms a network in spite of data and information it is also possible to share peripheral devices such as printer fax machine computer telephone camera laptop and many more devices but have you ever had a thought that how the computer send the signals to share the data so my dear students there are some medium of transferring the data information and signal this medium is cable wire or some wireless signals so there are wired network as well as wireless network when we connect 
two or more computer together we get a network on this network a central computer is known as a server which act as a storage location for the file and applications that are shared on the network servers store and send data to other computer and also control the network access on the other computer which are referred to as client as you can see in the figure central computer is a server and those computer connected to the server are called as client these are some network devices which are needed to form a network such as wire switch router network integration card repeater let us see them one by one a cable which is used to connect the computer and other peripheral devices to each other a network interface card this card or the device connect the computer to the specific device called switch which in turn link all the other computer on the network together as you can see this is a network interface card which is been attached in a central processing unit and helps to connect the ethernet cable our next device is switch it is used to connect multiple devices such as computer printer scanner which need to be connected to each other in a network a switch can thus connect computer printer and server creating a network to share resources another most important device necessary for forming a network is modem a modem is a hardware device which means modulation demodulation modem are used for data transfer from one computer network to another computer network through telephone line as we all know that computer can understand only digital signal but the data transfer in the telephone line in the form of analog signal so here modem play the role to convert digital signal into analog and then analog signal into digital signal and this process is called modulation and demodulation respectively yes this is a router a router another device most commonly used in network is a router which is used to tie or join multiple network together for example we would use router to connect our network computer which are already connected to one another by a network to the internet and thereby share an internet connection amongst many users so the router will act as a courier using the best route for your information to travel so that you receive it quickly so dear students router is necessary for connecting to networks so today we have learned the meaning of network and how they get connected there are two ways of network wired network and wireless network so dear students we will learn in detail in the next session about wireless and wired network till then thank you and have a nice day